Hello and welcome. I am the Restless Kaiser. And I am Johnny B. But together we are Modeling for Advantage. Bye. Boom. Right. Look at this, mate. Ho -ho. Yeah. What are you thinking of, man? I'm Perry thinking Miniatures. Perry Miniatures. Perry Twins, they're legendary, man. True legends. I feel that my collection may or may not include miniatures designed by Perry because they've worked for a lot of people. No doubt they do. You have Perry miniatures in your collection. But Fact. I don't actually have any miniatures that were like Perry miniatures on the box. No, no. They were just designed by one of the Perry exactly. Twins, probably. So this is like, we love a bit of bolt action. We do enjoy bolt. Always looking for new theatres. Yes, well, no. I mean, to... <laughs> no, we <laughs> but don't. you are. No, I was looking to try and play different <laughs> games. Yes. And Bolt Action, you always play the same game, so what you can do is use different coloured miniatures yes. <laughs> to play the same game <laughs> on a different board. Fact. So, I um, thought we'd have a bit of a look at the uh, the old uh, Desert Rats. Boom. And the thing with it was, though, was realising if we're moving to a completely new theatre with a completely different board, with a completely different paint scheme for all the uniforms and the vehicles, Nothing's is stopping we, us. we do not in any way need to have anything compatible with anything that we already have. Standalone. We can mate. take, you know, if I was going to try and use some Perry figures along with the existing miniatures that I have, I think they're a bit skinny compared to my um, Black Tree ones. They're just, they're just not going to fit within that range. But this is a completely new theatre. Yeah. Completely Standalone. Drops so let's have a look light. at it. So this box says it contains 38 miniatures. I suspect it might actually contain 40. And in terms of bolt action, that's probably as many guys as you need. Maybe you need a box and a quarter. Possibly. To give yourself some the, the kind of variety. But I mean, uh, whilst I was making one of the sections out of this mm. uh, box set, which you'll see at some point, um, I think I worked out. I went to one of the theatre selectors and worked mm -hmm. out a little Desert Rats Force. Yeah. And for the best part of that box set, you yeah, had a few vehicles, mate, and you're at 750, which is like 750 we, is where we play. we play. So yeah, yeah, on a 4x4 table, we found 750 yeah. is about right. So you're pretty much good to go, 20 yeah. quid plus a couple of vehicles. 50 quid, and I reckon you're, you're in on the table. Jobs right. are good. So, true fact. Just having a look through the British Army book here. You can make the best part of 500 points if you kit the boys out with some tech. Um have a boys AT rifle and a two inch mortar in there, a light mortar, you got the best part of 500 points. Uh, you know, that's that's crazy for 20 pounds. Stick in uh, a Marmon Harrington armored car and a Matilda two, maybe a Jeep, and you've got 750 points. That's not a bad army. Uh, well, it most really is a terrible army, but still, you're on the tabletop at reasonable points level, not bad. Anyways. Shall we, you know, before these guys get bored, yes. log off, go watch something else. Let's show them the model. I, I, I did want to say something about the box art. Though, go on, actually. I don't know. I don't always talk about box art because it doesn't always interest me. But I look at this guy. You got, you know, the, the British Tommy in his shorts, mate, facing the devil hun out in the, in, you know, baking in the sun. Going to war in knee-length shorts, that is about as manly as it gets. Mate, I think the knobbly knees alone are enough The to... knees? I mean, yeah. it, well, you can't show the whole leg. It'd be too much. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You got the, It's that it's that knee-length sock folded over there. And just Sandals, woolly socks. Beautiful. <laughs> handkerchief helmets. Yeah, mate. <laughs> th th there's, a, there's an officer dude here, the, the lightning, who's in his jumper. Mate. Yeah, legit. It's a legit, like, a cricket. Again, jumper. Huh? Yeah, it's V-neck as well, <laughs> cricket style. Right, let's have a look at the sprue. Boom. So, in here, John, uh, the sprues I'm going to show you may contain missing pieces, because yes. maybe you've even seen a video by now. Johnny B's assembled some of these, so you can have a little bit of a look. I have a little and bit. Got a bit. So, there's this main sprue, and I think you get three of these. And you got, what, 12 dude bros on it. 12 dude bros. 12 dude bros in various poses. They're all bald as, mate. They are bald as, They're yes. all proper, like, Space Marine sergeants it's, of, of yesterday. It's so you can choose the helmets. Because there's separate helmets. Yep. Separate a few helmets. different types there. You've got your standard yeah. helmet. There's a, I can never remember what it's called. There's like an assault helmet, which is a slightly different shaped helmet. Oh, is it? Yeah, true facts. Mate, I don't know, know much you know, about it, you know but I just, I noticed a simple, I, I simply noticed it. 
in a reference somewhere, in a kit somewhere. It's like it's not just like this. a Mark IV Brody a helmet then. Or no, something. it's like an assault. It says assault helmet. But yeah, you get loads of stuff on here. Look at that. You get all the heads that you could ever want because they're already attached to the sp <laughs> to the to the torsos. Yes. But you will notice you get a handful of. Separate you get all the heads. So you get guys in woolly hats. Yep. Which are presumably for use as. Um, uh, as SAS potentially yes, true or fact. commando type dudes, but I don't think that we had command. Did we have commandos in the desert? Yeah. Did we? Yeah. Because we had the SAS in the desert. That's did what I meant. We had SAS <laughs> in the <laughs> desert. That, did we have SAS. commandos? No, no, no. It's SAS. I think commandos. But they were really pulled from all over the place, weren't they? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, they do commando stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Commando stuff, but yeah. SAS. All right. Um, and you get three LRDG heads. Three LRDG heads with um, with uh, like tea towels on their yes, heads, mate. Boom. Yeah, mate. And they're all they're all like flailing backs and with goggles and stuff. But Going some speed. There's nobody actually driving in this. Nope. So I'm not sure. Maybe when you actually put that head on, perhaps it doesn't look. It as... doesn't look quite as dynamic <laughs> as it does the way it's, the way it settles on the sprue. So in terms of the way these models are constructed, I mean, they look, I don't know whether it's the colour of the plastic, they look slightly smaller, slightly thinner than I'm used to in a more heroic 28mm. They no, look a little are. bit they are, smaller. Definitely, when you compare them yeah. to, say, the like World a War Game stuff, they're, they're a lot they're skinny. They're more true scale. True scale, yeah. Yeah, they haven't got massive ham fists. Yeah, they're giant hands. And giant heads. Yeah. Um, I love that they're all bald, mate. Under that, under that helmet, <laughs> there ain't a drop of hair among them. <laughs> Um, so yeah, these probably, as I suspect, I felt that they wouldn't. I mean, I've had some looked some Perry stuff before, and they just the way that they make their models is somewhat different to a more uh, contemporary dynamic, and yes. as you say, probably more natural, more real. I think so. Um, but because they do an Africa core box as well, this is not a problem. At no, all. because yeah, you've got the opponent but they, right but they do they do feel because of the color of the plastic. I feel I feel like I'm handling. It, it, it's very reminiscent of like airfix soldiers and so forth. Although these are, these are not like yeah. that in terms of the quality of the sculpt is way better than that. And the plastic is and the plastic is hard. Yes, but it just kind of has that that those is poses it giving you and that, that vibe. Yeah. It's giving me that vibe. Maybe it's because I had tan coloured desert airfix soldiers as a kid. Yeah, man. You know, and some of these poses feel quite quite, quite uh, similar to that. So you've got twelve bodies on the sprue, and it, it's not that they're doubled up, is it? Um, no, it, they're all it, different. They're all completely different. Yeah, so just, seen just, the, the, just double checking. Just double I'm pretty checking. sure that they are different. Yeah. Um, yeah. But obviously, you've got three sprues of these. So yes. there is yeah. going to be some duplicates. Um, but the expectation is that you make an actual platoon with this, that you make three 10 man sections yeah. and um, a couple and of a, supporting and a, weapons. A, a, and a couple of supporting weapons and a command group, yes. right? Because they, they give you. This I like little that. piece of paper, which is the actual table of organisation equipment, which tells you that, that in a desert sort of 1942 um, pattern, you have 10 man sections, including a Bren and a Corporal with an SMG, three of those, and then you have a headquarters section with an anti tank rifle, a runner, a sergeant, a lieutenant in a jumper, a radio man, and number one and a number two mortar dude. Boom. So he's That's expecting cool. you to build this is a full strength platoon in a box. Now obviously bolt action isn't played like that. Bolt action no. is played with a KV, 12 guys and a flamethrower. Some, <laughs> some people play it like that. Most people. Okay, most like people that. play it like that, but yeah. we don't have to. We don't have to. And if we're going to like sort of mirror match it with the with the Africa core. Um, so the options for the weapons you get are obviously very heavily influenced by this expectation of what you build. Very much so, yes. Yeah. So you're going to use these these guys to build your sections. So <clears throat> you're going to have a couple guys left. Oh, no, but they're going to make up the components of your yes, HQ. Yes, exactly right, yeah. They're going to make up... The, that's right, because there's an eight-man headquarters. I think, is there a prone here. dude on there? On your sprue there? There is a there is a prone do on, dude on dude. that sprue. So him, him and his little body, is there only the one? There's one actually lying and there's two kneeling. Oh. Three kneeling. Boom. Interesting. Why do you say that? Oh, no, no, no. One's on his belly. Yeah, yeah, one on And the one's belly. on his side. So those two Sorry. there, they can be used as, and the, on the little instructions, these instructions there. Yeah. Those two have very specific components. 
Right. And in fact... So the guy who's on his, who's sort of leaning on his side yes. is the supporting crewman for the Bren team yes. or for the boys' anti-tank rifle or for the two-inch mortar. Exactly right, yeah. So, so, so in each case, this, you can only really make one of each of those weapons. True fact. But that Bren, that's not the only Bren then. Because you would need. A there is a there is a Bren gun. Uh, where is it? I'm looking for it. There's one which is specifically for that, and there is another one which I may have accidentally snipped off. Oh yeah, off no, of no, this they're, no. They're, you got it. Okay, I can see one. Yeah, and there is a, there is a Bren anything? being. Yeah, yeah, carried. Yeah. So there are options there to be, for you to be able to yeah. put the Brens in the squads prone or just walking yeah. about with yeah. them. Yeah. So you can. You've got that. But most of the time, those two prone guys are going to go with your weapons. Uh, yes, your you two-inch mortar, your boys, your mortar, your boys' anti-tank rifle. And if you really want teams. to, bring, and you're only yeah, going to have, up. yeah. So you can't. You could potentially make three two-inch motors, three yes. Brens or three boys anti tank rifles with those prone guys. But don't make those all up at Brens and then realise you can't no, do no, the no, others. No, no. Yeah, because you can't make the others any other way. Right, I'm with you. Now. Okay, I'm with you without some work. Yes. Right, yeah. So um, the, what I do, I also like in here, just looking at the weapons. Most of these weapons are. Two arms holding a weapon, slot straight on the shoulder. You built some of these. Does it fit all the shoulders? I did. Well, surprisingly, no. I, oh. I didn't feel that they did. Now, there's a few items on. Again, going back to the destructions, there's mm. a few which are specifically for specific torsos. And yeah. I think the rest are meant to be that they can go on any torsos that you want. But, but I you didn't feel that quite. Felt that some arms fit torsos better than others. Right. So that's worth a dry fit and a look. But I yeah. think it's meant to be, you can just, whatever's left, you can put them on any. You, the, you can put them on anywhere. That's the intention at least. So yeah, you've got you've got several of these sort of rifles and SMGs. I like the fact that there's Thompsons in here. Yeah. Which which gives it its its period. Yes, no stents here. There's no stents here. I'm not sure when they started issuing stents, sure but it definitely wasn't 1940 when we were no. fighting the Italians. No. You know, when technically this could have... But we were probably be, buying place. Thompsons from America mm. a long time before lend because it's a commercial weapon system. You know, that's why the Chicago gangsters yeah, got them. They just bought them, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Walmart. Uh, obviously, you've got plenty of the short magazine, Lee Enfields. There are several which have got single weapons, so you've got that option to have sort of a Thompson in one arm and sort of another yeah. wavy arm, a little bit of flexibility. I don't know how much character there is on the sprue, John, whether you found... They don't, there's not Do like you know a what? carrier pigeon built, or a telescope. No, I built the or, one section and... <sighs> I mean, there's a few little bits and bobs you can make. There's a couple of picks, there's a few bits there, a couple of spades yeah, yeah. and a few pouches and whatnot. But, you you know, you're going to be heavily restricted by the arms that you have there. Yeah. And yeah. it's not really but much. But you don't, on a wargaming kit, I don't think, like these are the pouches and the webbing and the water canteens, um, right down to the guy's braces holding up his shorts. Yeah. Is all sculpted on the yeah. model, and I want all of that. Yeah, I think this is a happy medium between the two. Yeah, because I, I think I, I think there's a really important distinction. I've said before, time and time again, there's wargaming kits yes. and there's model kits. Yes. They're not the same thing. Wargamers can use model kits if they want to. Yes. But I don't think games companies should expect wargamers to want to do sophisticated modelling. No. There's an interesting note on that, though. If you want to use those uh, commando-type woolly hats or LRDG heads... Oh Just yeah, it's say, old school. Get mate. a scalpel and chop this yeah, guy's yeah, yeah. head off. Yeah, because the heads are integral to the, the heads model. So you got to. Anyone who's kind of used to working with metal is probably a bit more happy with that. They used to drill in and pin in things like heads. Yeah, a slightly more experienced modeler would be happy to yeah. be able to snip that head off with a nice sharp blade at exactly yeah. the right angle and point. Yeah. To yeah. not make it look like he's breaking his neck when you stick yeah. a new head on. Yeah. And plastic glue is more forgiving than super glue. Very more, yeah. Because of the way it fuses. Well, it melts you it, but the, the yeah. rest there is if, if you leave too much, in it, <laughs> you <laughs> end up with like some a kind of diseased <laughs> uh, section yeah. over here. You want to watch yeah. that? Yeah. I mean, so you, you, as I say, you built these, did you find they went, to, went together? Or, I mean, I know you said no, not everything fit the way that, you wanted. Other than that, but it might have just been me on the night, you know? Mm. So. Um, yeah, they go together. Some of them are fiddly because of the more sort of because they're a bit smaller the scale. Yeah, yeah. I really did feel like that. There wasn't much right. to grip onto. There's a few individual pouches that you have to put on the model. Some of that I mean, I spent hours looking for those on my beige carpet. You know, because you dropped it. Because it just pinged. 
I yeah. had to use her. Fun fact, John fixed an MI24 Hind for me the other day. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, and, I fixed and, it. And broke the, the the spigot that holds the rotor Mate, on. I did that just come off, I think. Due it's to gone, mate. Poor glue. <laughs> poor glue. I don't know who glued it the first time around, but it wasn't particularly stable. But right. I managed to take the magnet out. Yeah, and flip I put it the around. magnet in the wrong way. So that's the difficult part. Yeah. Did that, wonderful. And then you lost it after And then you I dropped it. it. It's gone. Yeah. Now it's got a magnet in it, so I'm kind of hoping it's attached to one of the metal things in your room somewhere. Yeah, but somewhere. It disappeared. Somewhere. We digress. Yes. Um, so, I mean, you know, look, I don't know how much more there is to say in this. There's this sprue, the infantry sprue. True fact. Let's say you've got a nice mixture of rifles, you've got the weapons that we mentioned, you've got the Enfield, most of there. these are SMLEs, you've got some Thompsons, you've got a two inch mortar, you've got a boys' anti tank rifle. I don't know, was there anything else? You've got picks, you've got shovels, some options for guys with open hands. You've yep. got some knives if you want to really go for there. Obviously, several. Yep. You've got the option for the Bren prone, but also the Bren being carried. You then got this one other sprue, which is part of your, and you think that there was two of these. There's this is difficult because John's built yeah, some see, of these and he's not brought difficult. the bits back. Um, There's not an empty sprue here. I can here. tell you that I made a full 10-man section, so yeah. that covers the parts missing and the one whole sprue missing out the box set. <laughs> yeah. And I've made a commander and his Batman. From this. So there must have been a second sprue because I, I used the, the comm kit and the woolly jumper Use the man. radio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you've got your radio man and his big radio kit. Which is cool. And you've got the, and is, is that the, oh, his little bring bring? That's, yeah, he's got, he's, got the, he's got the cable and there the mic, is. which is nice. And you've got the peaked cap, which again, goes on top of the bald head. Yep. Oh, nice. Gotta love all these bald heads, man. Is the commander's um, cap separate as well? Is that an The commander's yeah, cap is, is separate, yeah yeah. yeah. yeah, separate head. Yeah, absolutely. And you can have so, with a wibbly wobbly so 12 wibbly. 12 on each of these and two of each of these if john is correct it's actually although it's his 38 models it's actually going to be 40. yeah and i don't know whether that's because you can they need to provide both these for you to make the 38 that it tells you to build here to be a full platoon maybe i'm not so sure to, why don't you need why, a second one of those though i don't know there could be something about this sprue that makes one of those command guys or yeah, or maybe. that you show a rifle or something like maybe. that i don't know you get to decide for that i don't know but when it says 38 on the box and they give and you, you 40, 40 which includes a pair of two mat they clearly could have given us 38 yeah and they definitely chose to give us 40. the last thing to talk about i think uh, before we move on is to talk about the bases Ugh! Which I just dropped there. They do provide bases, um, and they're how big are they? I did glue them to said bases. You did just glue them to said bases, were there. And, I, and I regretted that. Yeah, um, I will amend them. These are twenty them. mil bases rather than really? twenty five. They look a lot smaller than that, yeah. just because they're smaller than you expect them to be. They're only twenty mil bases, and they're a good size for the models that they're providing. But for me, I think I still want to put them on the same size bases, even if the models are a little bit smaller. Fair dues. I think it's just going to mess with my headspace too much. Um, and they do, the soldiers are mounted in that sort of traditional style on, yes. on a little disc. I think it gives them disc. a lot of stability and it's to do with the, with the manufacturing process and so forth. And makes it more flexible for basing on other things. But I just feel that this round disc on, on top a of tiny this round little disc, round yeah, disc, you gain quite a bit you're going of to gain you're going to have a really noticeable step. Whereas this set in one of the lipped Warlord bases with your basing material, I think you'd barely notice it. Yeah, true. Maybe sand it a little bit, maybe. I'll have to give it, give it a clue. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the detail on this is all, is all crisp, it's all clear. They also give you these two square bases, and they, presumably they gave you another two of these. And true fact. I, haven't, I don't think I've yeah. glued them onto those yet. Yeah. Right. Well, hopefully by now uh, you've seen some of the photographs and, uh, and maybe some video footage of Spinny Do for other stuff that John's made. They come out really nice. I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting these done as a starter for doing some Africa Core stuff. Yeah, cool. I think we'll have a look at the German Africa Core kit for a while, because I think I think three sections and a couple of HQ weapons, it's not 750 points, but it's a playable no, game. No, no, it's, it's And if this stop. isn't 20 quid, then it's 22 or something. It's 20 it, it, quid, man. Is it 20 I, quid? I'm pretty it's 20 sure quid. it's 20 that quid. That is 50 pence a figure mm -hmm. in 28 mil, mm -hmm. World War II. True fact. Pouches and all that stuff on there. They're nice, clean sculpts. I'm very, very pleased with this purchase. If there's an issue with it and you do need to be mindful of it, it isn't going to fit with heroic scale figures. No. But it is going to look better, interestingly, alongside 156 model vehicle kits. 
Yes. Because their crew often look too small because they're not yes, heroic scale. Exactly right. The driver of the truck is really weird yeah, looking tiny, in compared the to the soldiers that are mainly in the back. Because these are model kit in the scale. I didn't think about that. Yes. And I think, yeah, as you say. I think these will fit much better with Interesting. Those. But I like the idea that the drivers, they're all a bit, they're not the one, you know what I mean? It's like, yo, you drive the truck, mate. You're not up for this. Yeah. You're, not, you're, you're too not small. To <laughs> yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah. Lovely kit. I, I'm just going to keep on waffling, really. We, we're going to get some of these painted up at some dim and distant point in the future. We're going to play some African car. Because I think we do some raid stuff. Yeah. I think we do some, some ambush stuff, some really low level, you know, the kind of stuff that they make movies about. Okay. In the, you know, we used to watch on a Sunday afternoon. I can in deal with that. And look at that. All right, guys, that's everything from us. Beautiful little kit. Check it out from Perry Miniatures. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our content, like the video, maybe leave us a comment. Thank you. Thank you.